All right, the soundboard's all installed. All right, I'm getting it ready to do a Cladney test on the new uh, upright soundboard. So here we go. All right, looks like I found mode two. 94 hertz. So it looks like mode one is about, uh, what, 47? go back down and look for mode one see if I can get in close where you can see the little sand moving yeah there we go see, and then they make a pattern where it don't move anymore pretty interesting isn't it here's the other side all right let's look for mode one I'm gonna go down to 47 sand out a little bit. Let's uh, turn the generator back on. Looks like I've got more movement over here than over here. So we'll let that run for a while. I probably put too much sand. Alright, we'll check back in a few minutes. Okay, so here's mode one 50 Hertz and um, here's a couple uh, things that I've noticed so first of all we've got uh, good stiffness over here uh, the sand pattern is coming through about the middle of this second section normally there'd be a, a break here and then in this section is the second section so this is coming in right here which is pretty good if it was up here if it was up here like on Steinways I'd be uh, sweating it <laughs> but we look good and down here the circle is a little wide, farther away from the bridge over on this end and that I like a lot that worked out really good and this is the short end and so this right here is also pretty good uh, especially when you consider that the there's a cutoff bar right here I'll draw it in the sand and that's where the cutoff bar is so you can see it's uh, pretty much the scalloping distance that's why I think the scalloping has more to do with where the cladney lays off so and then down here uh, we're we're stiff so nothing happening down here so I think what I'm gonna do is there's about two or three ribs under here uh, like right in here something like this and so I'm gonna uh, do a little sanding on those ribs 
and um, see if I can make the pattern the circle which is coming in right here I'll put a piece of tape right here and see if I can get it, this to move down a little bit so uh, I'd like at least like to see it if possible come down like this so I'll uh, just do a little bit of sanding see if I get any change if not then we'll we'll just call it good all right see you in a bit all right I'm underneath the piano I have to I've got the piano horizontal so I got to get on my back here but I think I'm gonna aim for like maybe something something about like this go to that point right there and then uh, make these scallops just a little longer add a little more flexibility so I think I'm gonna try to come I'm gonna try to come to right here and let's see uh, maybe right here maybe even a little farther down right there and then this one about right here and this one right about here thin those and bring in uh, so I'll kind of thin this maybe a little bit and then bring it bring it more to here this one will be a little harder to get but I should be able to get it all right so that's my goal all right so I was able to do quite a bit of sanding uh, I brought that one back and that one back and I was able to get that one all the way under there so you can see where it's sanded so I had to use my electric sander my one inch sander and then I used uh, my chisel to clean it up and then final hand sanding so I just got to spray a coat of uh, lacquer on there and we'll be good maybe sand that one a little more so anyways we'll uh, see how how it affected the cladney all right here we go with the cladney test oh boy much more movement on both sides look at that and over here on the side i altered so we'll just let it go for a while and look at that Bouncing like crazy over here. All right, I'll let it go for a while and see where we end up. All right, so it looks like I am like over here. Looks like I gained about two inches of real estate all the way around. Made the circle a little bigger, and uh, so that's cool. You got it closer to the edge. So there's a uh, mode one on the Crispin Suns. All right, thanks for watching.